Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Vinny. And uh, do me a favor and uh, take a moment and think about this. We have paper, non-toxic plastic, fabric, and, and diesel fuel. What do all of these have in common? If you don't know, allow me to enlighten you. They are all byproducts of a plant called hemp. Today I'm going to be teaching you about the history of hemp, and according to the Salem Press Encyclopedia of Science back in January of this year, they stated that in 1936, hemp was able to be used for more than 25,000 products. Also according to the Salem Press Encyclopedia of Science back in January of this year, they stated that evidence of the uses of hemp were found in the Great Wall of China, which dates its origin back to as early as 10,200 years ago. So today, we're gonna to take a look at the brief history of hemp. We're also gonna take a look at how hemp was outlawed, and then we'll take a look at some of the various uses of hemp. So now, let's take a trip to a time unfathomable, back to 8,000 BC. Hemp is considered to be one of the oldest domesticated crops. It is part of the plant family Cannabicae, which also includes marijuana and hashish. The main difference between the three is the THC percentage that is in the plant, as well as the conditions that they are grown in. Its origin dates back to as early as 10,000 years ago due to the fact that traces of it were found in the Great Wall of China. According to the Earth Island Magazine Journal back in 1990, the first known woven fabric was made from hemp, believed to have been started in the eighth millennium. For a long time until this last century, hemp was grown, traded, and manufactured across the world. Its uses were praised, and according to the North American Industrial uh, Hemp Council in 1997, back in 1619, the first law was, was enacted in the Jamestown colony, stating that it was mandatory to grow industrial hemp. It was punishable by law, resulting in possible jail time if you were caught not growing hemp in the New World. Also according to the Earth, um, also, according to the Earth Island Journal magazine, back in 1990, the first and second drafts of the Declaration of Independence were both written on Dutch hemp paper. So now that we know a little bit about the, the brief history of hemp, now let's take a look at how everything changed course. According to PBS.org, last accessed in April 12th of this year, in 1956, Congress passed uh, Congress included marijuana in the Narcotics Control Act, which resulted in stricter penalties for marijuana-based offenses. Also, according to the Earth Island Journal magazine back in 1990, uh, they stated that the last hemp crop grown in the United States happened in 1957. Hemp has been a staple in this world's history for a very long time, and it wasn't until the later part of this last century that everything started to change course, and it all happened over money. In the early 1900s, DuPont was making great strides in preparing paper for production and hemp was huge competition. According to the Earth Island Journal magazine in 1990, if hemp hadn't been made illegal, 80% of DuPont's business would have never been developed. So members of the paper, timber, big banks, and large newspaper holding companies held a private meeting. They sought to outlaw hemp through yellow journalism. Enter reefer madness. Through yellow journalism, as well as the Federal Bureau of Narcotics director, Harry Anslinger, came reefer madness. It was an American drama film based on stereotypes of marijuana. The name marijuana came about during this time, which was around 1936. <clears throat> they wanted to outlaw hemp without people batting an eye, so they coined the term marijuana, and they slandered and berated its abusers and pushed Congress, to pass the, uh, pushed Congress to pass the Marijuana Tax Act of 1937, which made it effectively impossible to grow hemp by placing an extremely high tax on, uh, on hemp products. The same day, the first marijuana seller ever convicted under US federal law was arrested in Denver, Colorado. So far, we have gone over the history of hemp as well as how hemp became illegal. So now let's take a look at some of the various uses of hemp. Hemp throughout history has been used for a wide range of products and textiles, as well as medicine for many different ailments, sicknesses, and diseases. Hemp can be used to make paper, which is more durable and has a longer life than paper from wood. According to the Earth Island Journal magazine in 1990, 
one acre of hemp is equivalent to 4.1 acres of trees over a 20 year period. The fibers that you can obtain from the stalk of the hemp plant are the longest, the strongest, and the most durable in the world. Hemp, according to the Salem Price Encyclopedia of Science back in January of this year, was responsible for making over 25,000 products in 1936. For example, we can make non-toxic plastic out of hemp. Until the very late 1800s, hemp was responsible for 70 to 90% of all rope, cord, and twine worldwide. Hemp seed is used in almost all bird feed worldwide still to this day. According to the North American, in, according to the North American Industrial Hemp Council back in, in 1997, at a volume of 81%, hemp is, the, uh, hemp is the richest known source of polyunsaturated fatty acids, also known as the good fats. It is also high in some amino acids, including gamma linoleic acid, which is a very rare nutrient that's commonly found inside of mother's milk. If we were to use hemp for its biofuel, we would be able to use it for our vehicles, our generators, heating fuel, and so much more. Hemp is a historical plant with its origin dating back to 8000 BC. It has had its fair share of controversies over the years and, its, and some legal issues over the last century, but it is an extremely versatile plant that has been used throughout history. Hemp has been a staple in our world for more than 10,000 years. That is an unfathomable amount of time when thinking about something surviving that long. Hemp seemed to be gaining steam until it became illegal. We don't know what the future holds for this historical crop, but paper, non-toxic plastic, fabrics, and diesel fuel, what do all of these have in common? They all belong to a list of 25,000 other products that are all made from hemp. Thank you.